welcome to the weekly wrap up. As you can see, I'm out here in the field of buses with um, Mr. O, I call him, but he's Mr. Ostanek, who leads our transportation department. And so glad to have you here today in the middle of a sunny day and all of this, um, the buses. So wanted to provide an opportunity to have a conversation about all the incredible work that you are leading with your, your team. Um, there are a lot of challenges in Marion County with transporting our students being the fifth largest geographic size in the state, we transport a majority of our students through one of these buses. So what would you like to share as an update and what's going on in transportation? Well, first off, thank you for coming out and, and joining us out here. Um, obviously, we have a lot of exciting things going on with transportation. Um, we, we've worked really hard to improve our on-time arrivals mm -hmm. um, for AM especially, but they're improving in the PM also. But our AM on-time arrivals have gone up between three and 6% depending on the day. And when we talk about three and six percent, it doesn't seem like very much, but that can, you know, that that number is uh, is around a thousand kids, twelve hundred kids, right in that range. So that is a huge number and a huge amount of kids to get to school on time safely in the morning. Um, so we're very excited about that. That number is going to continue to improve um, as we hire more bus drivers and we get them placed and we get them trained, which we're able to do that here at our facility. Um, so if anyone's looking to become a bus driver, we would love to have you. We're, we still have more that we want to hire. I'm always recruiting. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you starting with the on-time delivery because several years back, we changed our strategic plan to identify the need to get them to school in seat for learning to occur when the bell rings, right? And get them home on time as well. So not just about the vacancies, which lead to that, but what's our what's our outcome that we want to uh, measure and, and have accountable to our, our students in the community. So really appreciate that. And that is a lot of students. So more work to be done, but great progress, just really great progress. What are some of the um, successes that have led to the increase of that percentage? We, we've done a really good job of, of onboarding drivers. Our, our training staff does a good job of, of getting new drivers trained. Because uh, the, the unique part about our business is, is we, we have a, a vast majority, a vast area that we cover. And some of it's, a lot of it's rural, but a lot of it's very densely populated. So, mm -hmm. so it's unique in how we can, how we uh, route our buses and how we get the, the student to school. Can, it differs from Marion Oaks as opposed to Citra. They're two vastly different areas and and how we how we're able to transport. Um, but we have a great team in place that from our uh, starting with our drivers obviously and our bus aides. Um, they're the first person that the kids see in the morning when they get on the bus. So we try to give them a smiling face and be welcoming. And then they're the last person they see when they get off in the afternoon. So we want to make sure that they are you know that, that the kids feel welcomed and and feel. Um, like they can have a good experience on the bus. Absolutely, and we appreciate that. Getting them, getting their day off right and sending them home safely is so important and we're so, so grateful for that. And um, and for the bus aides, everybody who's a part of that and the, and the team, the routing team, everybody behind the scenes who's making all of these things possible. I wanna go back to something you said I think is so important. And, and in some communities where the entire district is densely populated, you can pivot when there's um, an absence on, of a bus driver, right? You can pivot and, and change routes, but you can't do that here from, you know, the forest to Dunellen and, and North Side. So those are unique challenges to Marion County that doesn't occur everywhere. So appreciate the, the constant um, thoughtfulness and um, ability to analyze the data and how those pieces can come together as efficiently and effectively as possible for our students. And so I think that's what's led to that percentage increase, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the, 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 we've kind of put in a, a three-tiered system, uh, which has been which helpful. Which is new this year. Which is very, is very new this year, <laughs> um, which has been very helpful for allowing us to Im improve our on-time arrivals. Yep. Um, we also have an incredible staff. Uh, yes. I mean, our, our folks that, that are in place within transportation, we have 450 people that work in transportation, um, wow. roughly. Mm -hmm. um, and they're spread out across the district and they're able to communicate with each other and come together and and help each other i can't tell you the number of times that on the radio uh, we we have drivers that are communicating with each other because um, one of them's stuck in traffic somewhere and they're radioing to someone else hey can you pick up a stop on this road for me and we go by and make that happen and and that's just because of the experience that they have and, and the willingness to work together as a team yes absolutely so you think that the new tiered system will yield better results, right? Yes, ma'am, it's gonna to continue to improve. Okay. Um, uh, you know, right now uh, we're, we're operating um, 
with our, our driver numbers uh, at, at about, uh, we're still down eight open routes. Okay. Uh, but considering the fact that we started the year off twice that many, mm -hmm. you know, so, so that's why you're seeing the improvements. As the drivers get in place, they learn their routes and they become more efficient at, at their job. Awesome. Um, and you mentioned radios. So um, I'm not sure that the public and maybe even all of our employees realize the, the new radios that are on our buses for emergencies. You want to talk about that? We have a great partnership with our county and are appreciative that our bus drivers can can click and get the help they need. Do you want to talk about that? Yes, ma'am. Our, our new radios were installed last December. Um, our drivers received training uh, on the radios. They have the ability that we went from an analog system to a digital system, so it's much clearer and more precise what you're hearing that comes across the radio when, the, when, uh, in it, when it's in use. Um, but there's also the ability for drivers to immediately contact 911 through the press of a button. Um, and we don't use that for minor infractions and those kind of things, but if there's an accident or there's a major disruption on the bus, we, we can hit, uh, hit the orange button that's on the bus on the radio and all of uh, the 911 system will come across and be able to make contact directly with the driver and it pulls up the bus on GPS so they're able to locate the bus and, and send help immediately to that bus. Uh, such a, a great peace of mind in case there's a medical emergency on board that for the families to know, students, that the um, bus driver has that access and staff that are on board, right? Yes, so ma'am. Really, really great partnership we have with the county and really appreciative of, of their involvement, including us in that new system. Thank you so much for all you do. Appreciate your leadership and looking forward to continuing to fill those vacancies and, and increasing our uh, percentage of arrival to school on time and home. And, and we're 100% is the goal. Yes, right? ma'am. 100% is the goal. That's right. Thank you for all you do. Yes, ma'am. Thank and you. And thanks to the whole transportation team.